Oppenheimer is a 2023 epic biographical thriller film written and directed by Christopher Nolan. Based on the 2005 biography American Prometheus by Kai Bird and Martin J. Sherwin, the film chronicles the life of J. Robert Oppenheimer, a theoretical physicist who was pivotal in developing the first nuclear weapons as part of the Manhattan Project, and thereby ushering in the atomic age. Killian Murphy stars as the titular character, with Emily Blunt as Oppenheimer's wife, Catherine Kitty Oppenheimer, Matt Damon as General Leslie Groves, Oppenheimer's military handler, and Robert Downey Jr. as Louis Strauss, a senior member of the United States Atomic Energy Commission. The plot pretends to be a young, brilliant J. Robert Oppenheimer grapples with homesickness and anxiety at the Cavendish Laboratory under Patrick Blackett, a demanding tutor, for whom he leaves a poisoned apple. A visiting Niels Bohr almost eats it, but Oppenheimer stops him in time. After completing his PhD in physics at the University of Göttingen, he returns to the United States, driven by the absence of research on quantum physics. He starts teaching at the University of California, Berkeley, while also dedicating time to the California Institute of Technology. Along the way, he encounters significant figures like Ernest Lawrence, the 1939 Nobel Prize winner who emphasizes the importance of practical applications. Gene Tatlock, a member of the Communist Party USA with whom he has an on and off romantic relationship until her eventual suicide, and ex-communist biologist Catherine Puning, whom he later marries, General Leslie Groves approaches Oppenheimer and requests his involvement in the development of the atomic bomb, known as the Manhattan Project, but only after Oppenheimer assures him of having no sympathies for communism. Consequently, Oppenheimer assembles a team of scientists to work together in secret and create the atomic bomb in Los Alamos, New Mexico, aiming to use it as a means to save the world despite the concerns about the potential global repercussions. In particular, the danger of the Nazis and their anti-Semitism drives the Jewish Oppenheimer. At one point, he and renowned physicist Albert Einstein discussed the possibility of the bomb triggering a chain reaction that could lead to catastrophic consequences and potentially the end of the world, for, when Germany surrenders in World War II, some of the project's scientists begin questioning its importance, however, it continues regardless. And the Trinity test is carried out successfully right before the Potsdam Conference. U.S. President Harry S. Truman makes the decision to drop atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Japan Devastated by the immense destruction caused by these bombings, Oppenheimer meets with Truman in his office. Truman is disgusted by Oppenheimer's distraught regret and perceives it as weakness, he absolves Oppenheimer of all responsibility for the bombings, but Oppenheimer holds himself accountable. In the following years, Oppenheimer becomes a vocal advocate against further nuclear development, especially the creation of the hydrogen bomb by his fellow Manhattan Project scientist Edward Teller. However, his stance becomes a point of contention in the tense climate of the Cold War with the Soviet Union. His perceived left-wing ties via his brother Frank's early involvement with the Communist Party, and association with Tatlock, draw suspicion from government officials. Louis Strauss, a senior U.S. Atomic Energy Commission member, holds a grudge against Oppenheimer for seemingly badmouthing him to Einstein in a conversation he views from afar and publicly dismissing his concerns regarding the export of isotopes. He exploits these allegations at a hearing intended to remove Oppenheimer from political influence, where Oppenheimer is betrayed by the testimony of Teller and Groves. His security clearance is revoked and the public revelation of his affair with Tatlock and suspicions surrounding his past ties to communism lead to his public fall from grace, effectively silencing his influence. At Strauss's own Senate confirmation hearing to become Secretary of Commerce, former metallurgical laboratory technician David Hill testifies against Strauss. Hall exposes Strauss's personal grievances against Oppenheimer and his role in engineering Oppenheimer's downfall, leading the Senate to vote against confirmation. In later years, Oppenheimer receives the Enrico Fermi Award from Vice President Lyndon B. Johnson as a gesture of political rehabilitation. His earlier conversation with Einstein is revealed to be not about Strauss, but about the far-reaching implications of nuclear weapons and the heavy burden of knowledge that they bear. Despite the success of the Trinity test, 
Oppenheimer wonders if they had, in a sense, started a chain reaction of events that might end the world. He envisions a world destroyed by his own creations. Thanks for watching the full video. Hope you love this video. Please press the like button and give your comments about this video and we'll upload videos regularly so don't forget to subscribe our channel, give your suggestion about next topic in comments section, meet you in next video, bye bye.